How's it going everyone? My name is John and welcome back to a new video and today we are going to, sorry I'm moving my mic here, we're going to be going back into some Biomutant and in the last video we uh, pretty much destroyed one of the tribe's outposts and took it for ourselves. So we are going to be continuing where we left off with Gizmo working on a uh, mission that he has for us I guess. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. You discovered a hazard zone. These zones are vast areas covered in deadly hazards. You can only withstand the hazard for so long before it kills you, so be careful. Hazards come in several types. Biocontaminated, cryogenic, incendiary, radioactive, and the oxygen-deprived dead zone. Your gear and the resistance you chose during character creation determine how long you can survive in the hazard zones and how much damage you take from hazard weapons. With a resistance of 100 to a type of hazard, you, you resist 100% of the damage from that hazard. Is it really killing us that fast? How are we going to survive in this? Oh my god! Restart from last checkpoint. Mind that fun. We're just gonna die anyway. It's time to do what's right, for certain values of right. Is there any way... Alright, well, it looks like this may be a route. That's the leftover you're looking for. Open up the map to see the area objective again. I'm not worried about it. There we go. There's our light. You found the climbing spot. Use the normal movement controls to move to the lead, to the next ledge. Jump away to stop climbing. I wonder if we can move across this. Of course. And now I'm gonna die. Again! I think most of this game is just gonna be the freaking loading screen. Oh my goodness. Every bit of your gear is soaked. Alright, we gotta hurry this up. You found a biocontaminated container. Collect the bio blobs and use these to unlock mutations in the menus or ch to change your appearance at bio pools. This rope seems solid. I'm trying to get there before I die. And I died! I should have used a freaking health pack though. That would have been more useful. Feels lonely here. Even the air is gone. Focus on the tightrope. Alright, let's use the health patch real quick. Probably not going to bring my health all the way up. Yeah. How am I supposed to get all the way over there?
Oh, I see. I see. Did you hear thunder? All right. So we go this way. I don't get why it starts at freaking 40%. Ah, oh, there we go. We found a Mikton parts box. These boxes can be found around the world and contain parts for you to customize your Mikton. So, an ankle bankles. Scrap Rack, Snoke's Pew, huh, alright, now can we get out through here is my question, or are we going to have to go back the way we came, we're going to have to go back the way we came, oh what excitement, Come on, don't let me die. Bad place to be dizzy. Turn back on you freaking grasshopper. There we go. Alright, so I take it we take these parts back to Gizmo. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun, and a gathering net, but no armor. Nor I want to see what a fuel or soaker is. He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. He's been working on another project for the Mekton, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the strips. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the jumbo part. The best way to find strips is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. Uh, let's see more about the Moog. Gizmo thinks he's a little peculiar, but very knowledgeable. He has the ins and outs of all monster and creature whereabouts. To customize the Mekton, jump on it and use the call mount button. Alright. So this is actually going to help. Can't cross oil pools, but you can use it to remove the oil. Okay. Cool. The so. Beast Monkey's Mekton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? So this will actually help us get across the dead zone, which I, I think is like... hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the Dead Zone. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. Hmm. 
That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Okay. All right, so it looks like I'll have to get out of this. Here makes you shiver a bit. God dang it. Who needs a ladder? Or a seal? Any more? Diablo. All right. Bring it to you. This one's impressed to see you out here. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Um, let's see. How do you know me? What's in your name, the latter night? Says a monster hunter hears many things on the wind. Bring it to you. Moog says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time comes. Choosing what to kill and what to spare are the most important decisions you'll make. You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves, and you know they'll miss. Uh, you kill whoever you like? Claims he mostly kills whoever he doesn't like. Says it's wild that the world seems to be coming back, but he supposes that means more monsters for him to shoot. Wonders why you work so hard to keep things alive. Bullets help thin the herd instead. Says you should give up on working with the stubborn myriad. He keeps trying to put out their lights and they keep putting up new ones. Why take out their lights? Says they keep the monsters away. He needs them closer, not farther. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. He's not sure about their veggie diet anymore. And if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Should we eat meat instead? Says he's not sure, but if you're going to haunt something, it seems a waste not to eat it. Why I'm fully up high. Moog says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster haunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. He understands you need to start off with something small before you go big. Seven. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. I'd rather shoot, but I'm ready to hunt. Says you stick to the haunting and shots present themselves later. All right, now that we're back in this, we don't have to worry about dying. Let's go kill some monsters. I think we go this way. Who would be dumb enough to get in your way? Wait, it's like a little rainbow. Place is just filled with critters. Jeez, this thing can tear. So it's taken away from my health. Hope that they're dead. Seems like it. Will this take away from my oxygen? No, it won't. Gross. This place stinks. 
Yeah, I got some bio plants. Back to your own stompers. Sorry, I had a little bit of an itch. Alright, let's see what this place has to offer for me. How do I get up there? Nope. Nope. Get me back on there. Huh. I wonder if there's anything up here. Idea. Go knock the lid off that sludge truck. It'll fill the place up when you can get up to that entrance there. Okay, so that makes sense. So now it's going to raise these up. Finally, a bit of glow. Okay. All right, now what's over here? Ah. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. There we go. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Okay. But there is something in here for me. Legs won't help it now. <laughs> Did I collect them all? Oh, I see. Choose the creature's fate. Huh. Kill it. Somewhat dark. Let's kill it again. Kill the creature. A bang bitsky jupsico. Interesting. All right, now we must go back up top. What's in here? Think of all the things you can cut with this. A Hoover Grew Blade. Very interesting. sure you're going the right way um i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna get away from you making my way downtown walking fast oh new. Oh, so I can break it down. <laughs> break it down like this. Can it run? No, it can't. It's got a weird way of uh, strutting itself, though. I will say that. Alright, so I guess we go back to Gizmo. Yeah, return to Gizmo.
This thing is actually pretty sweet, though. I will say that. Chug yard. All right. Gizmo, I bring you gift. He says that's enough scripts to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Well done. Let's see about this one. It's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mecton's way so you can pass. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The Mecton will be strong enough to do the job. Sweet. Flashback. It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now. Otherwise, he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. Let go of me. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. There are more wreck boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able to equip the Mecton with on your own. Do it myself? He's sure you remember enough of what he taught you about upcycling to fit some scronky gear to the Mecton on your own. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Are you hiding anything? Concerned. You're not being honest. Is there something important I'm missing? Thinks if you need Wiz, you should look for the Surge Surf factory. He's usually there. So, says you covered the important things already. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Uh, anything else you can tell me? Don't avoid the hoof puff. It'll take out the tree of life for sure. That's really everything? The tree remains intact, but you must all make a change to save it. We'll be around when you return. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Understands you have other places you need to go. Just trying to see if maybe I can get another secret out of him. Alright, so defeat the Jumbo Puff. Let's see where it is on our map. So we gotta go through the dead zone to get to the Jumbo Puff. That looks like a side quest. All right. You better get a move on if you want to change things. Yes, I understand. All right, so bio points. Uh, sure. And let's use B. All right, what kind of gear do we got? Quest items. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the Mecton. And let's be on our way. We will destroy. Wait, what is that? Energy pack. And a squeaks. Okay, very interesting. Small health pack. Alright, nice. 
Looks like we got a little uh, mask, I believe it is. I wish this thing could run a bit faster, though. And why does that thing have to be all the way out there? So we have to defeat the Jumbo Puff using this. Very interesting, but I might be able to get the job done. Let's jump and bam. Let's keep going. I like how I can double jump with this. That's kind of sweet. I don't want to defeat anybody right now because I don't see much of a sense in doing that. Alright, so if we're going to be able to get across here. That's not going to work. But we can move around it like that. Okay. Oh, we had a little rock in our way. Bang Shelter 7B is still there, open and ready to shelter. Looks like we're going to have to start defeating them. Come on. Alright, we gotta use a health pack. Hey, we're a level 7. Is this our last one? Seems like that's it. It's all people did. You never know how long anything's been buried under. Yeah, like what's in here? A duck face? Really? That's what I made. Hard whack. Shin guards. Okay. A very interesting take. I think I've been here before. Alright, let's continue my journey. get caught up in that. We're running out of here. Back to the mission at hand. Alright. There we go. Hey! We're able to destroy our way through it. That's fun. Now, can we defeat the Jumbo Puff with what we've got? Alright. Sorry about that, guys. I had to do a few things real quick. And then I just came right back to it. Time to crush these buildings. Time to show this Jumbo Puff what's who's boss. Fuck. 
Oh no. Come on. Get up. Well, death it is. Because there is no way back up. And it's death I chose. Defeat. Like a landed fish? You God dang like it, man. One. Now we gotta go through all this crap again. Alright, I'm just gonna get past these little pip squeaks. I don't wanna have to deal with them. Just wish I can frickin' run. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. You can stay alive for all I care. Alright, looks like I go over here. Maybe. And that didn't work. Fantastic. Let's just go this way. There are so many weird creatures here, man. Alright. Hopefully they're not following after me. I don't think they are. <clears throat> Man. I had to clear my throat. Alright, Jumbo Puff Place. Oh my. You are huge. That's a Jumbo Puff with an appetite. Ain't no fuss. Yikes. Before it ends our world. Oh, shoot! And I need health, but I don't have any. Ay, 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 no, don't kill me. Oh no. Come on. Okay, what are you doing now? We're gonna King Kong this, really? Go that way. Why can't you take damage? Come on. Show me what you got, boy. Uh oh, the jumbo puff is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. Ay, 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 no, no. I can't stand electrocution. Keep your electrifying away from me. And that. Yeah, I don't have any freaking health, though. So it looks like I'm going off of this with a little bit of health. I'm trying to get a good picture. But it doesn't look like I can do it.
I want to get a good picture. Alright, let's hide the UI so we can get a good picture of this. And bam. What do you got now? Another freaking electrifying whip. Ah, great. Now he's gonna throw rocks again. Cause I guess that's what he does. Oh! It's the comeback kidling. And we okay, not too bad. But I can't take any hits. I don't want any hits. All right, now he's gonna. Yep. Saw that coming. Come on, take damage, you ferocious beast. This jumbo puff is freaking huge, and why is it called a puff? Yeah, go up onto your tree like King Kong. Freaking hide away like a little baby. All right, just gotta dodge these things. Okay, so that's how I dodge in this thing. Ay, 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 I thought I could dodge it. All right, here we go. Right back to it. Come on. So that knocked him out for about this. It goes all the way down to the stomach. Oh no. Start like a snack and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. Yeah, just trying to figure out. How to do this. Okay. Pumped out and flushed down. Don't look at you. All pooped out. From this point on, there's no way forward but going back in. What? A death worthy of a hero. That was weird. I guess he likes the little butt plug here and there. The Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. Wow, what a super-sized wormwind. That must be as big as they come. You see, it's what's on the inside that counts. That meaty Taurus is already offbeat. End it. So this is his heart. Alright, gotta make my way back to the heart. Come on. What to do. Come on. We're almost there. Just gotta stop the heart. Or beat it to death. Who would have guessed it would go down with a throw up? Did it really get any better than that? World Eater defeated. Are we really taking this thing back to Gizmo? Oh, we're taking parts. Very interesting. Okay.
I'm pretty sure that that's probably where we're going to leave off today's episode, guys. I do hope that you have enjoyed. Let's see what happens after this. It may bring us right back to Gizmo, honestly. He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. Even if Out of Date doubts your intentions, he depends on your help, and the Sifu is confident he'll let you know what you need. He trusts you know where to find Out of Date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. New side quest, back to the roots. Alright, so I think this is where we're going to end off in today's video, guys. I do hope that you have enjoyed. And if you did, smash that like button down below. And subscribe if you are new to the channel and want to see more from this channel. And comment down in the comments section below for what you guys want to see in other videos. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.